can we most effectively decide who are the best patients to receive these agents and who should not receive these agents. I think what we've learned very clearly, looking both at Fourier and, and, and also the very informative information from the SPIRE 2 study, would tell us that if you have uh, established atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and you have an elevated LDL cholesterol, despite the use of maximally tolerated statin therapy, and that would certainly be, at the very least, an LDL cholesterol above three millimoles per litre or 130 milligrams per deciliter, I think there's really no doubt those patients benefit. And I think we should be seeing um, those uh, patients uh, should be getting better access to these agents very quickly. And I think that's something that we should be urging payers in all countries to do. The next question will be beyond LDL cholesterol uh, as a enrichment factor for risk. Um, what uh, uh, combination of concomitant risk factors will identify the patient who not only has an elevated risk in these studies but has a clearly highly modifiable form of disease, profound reduction in events, hopefully relatively early separation of the curves and therefore uh, turn out to be highly cost effective and so I think that really looking through those types of analyses to try and understand um, who those patients with the high modifiable risk are um, I think will be the thing that we'll all be looking forward to seeing. Um, I think that there will be a lot of information in the cost effectiveness space and, and what will be quite challenging but important in this space is that it's quite clear in Fourier that the curves continue to separate. Um, and it really was quite striking of that triple endpoint uh, in fact has a 25% reduction after the end of the first year, curves just continue to separate the further out you go. And there really is this suggestion that in fact, the longer you treat these patients, the more cost effective they ultimately will be, um, given that the, be the potential benefits are actually greater and greater the longer you go. And I think, so, so that work will need to be done. And then finally, I'd like to see some data that really tries to complement one of the surprising observations we made in Glagov, and that was that you actually got more regression if you started at a lower level. Um, and we had a biologic rationale for that. We felt that those patients actually had a more modifiable form of disease given that their low LDL cholesterol had not protected them from coming to the cath lab. And I think what we'd like to see um, from a personal perspective is what happens when the Fourier investigators do a similar type of analysis. I think that would be really interesting.